out of y'all. So I just want to give my gratitude and love to you guys because I've been having a little bit of a rough past week and I just want to say that it's just nice to be able to connect with y'all for this type of video. So let's get into this. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Virgo, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general reading this week Virgo. I also do your weekly you versus them weekly reading Virgo, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you would like. But when it comes to any of my readings Virgo, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective and I'm reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could Virgo, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. If you find some cards that resonate with you be sure to let me know in the comments below virgo because i love keeping up with y'all and that's how i keep up with y'all through the comments i love hearing your ah aha moments that you have with the cards um if you do have a aha moment with the cards i don't know why i'm saying that's so weird now um be sure to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my channel a lot virgo and i always am super appreciative when you guys take the time to do that for me uh, and then finally, Virgo, this reading's here just to give you some food for thought, right? I'm not here to make a decision in your life. It's your life to live, not mine. Um, hopefully this reading just gives you some food for thought, something, a new perspective for you to consider as you go throughout your week. Uh, but yeah, let's get into your overall energies first. Uh, Virgo, we have the Emperor card as well as the Knight of Swords. Uh, so Virgo, I, for this to be your overall energy, this is almost like a, uh, getting back on track with things this is what i feel yeah i feel like getting back on track uh this is definitely an energy of you know i feel like you, some of you guys have set like long-term plans where go you're just like you wanted to have this and this and this done by x amount of time you wanted to get onto that routine and develop that routine uh last week last month last year Right. And when you have the Emperor card, which is kind of like the I see this as like being proactive, that call to action um, to be that leader, to take control of your life, to uh, really create the empire that you want to have for yourself, the one that you feel like you deserve. Right. Because you, everyone deserves their own empire, whatever that empire looks like and whatever shape or form that is for you Virgo uh and we have this knight of swords here now this is where it's just like letting me know like that wishy-washy energy where it's just like some days you feel super motivated Virgo and then other days it's kind of like mm, like you just lay in bed all day right you don't really have productive days so it's either almost as if Virgo like you have really productive days and then when you don't have those really productive days then you have super unproductive days right there's no balance I feel and so it's like, what can we do this week, Virgo, to develop that balance, right? And regardless, whatever way that it is, if you were trying, if you've been in this process of trying to develop that routine, right? Get into that, the swing of things with a routine, like a workout routine or even like a skincare regime, right? What can we do to get back on track with that? Even, you know, even something I just want to, ask as well that keeps popping to mind because into my mind just because i keep seeing images of it i keep on seeing like images of like sweeping and mopping and like vacuuming right it's so random virgo i've never been shown this before so it's just like i guess i just need to ask like when's the last time that you cleaned your space right when's the last time you swept or vacuumed and stuff do some dusting right clear up your space and then burn some like palo santo or sage or something to cleanse the space i really just feel as if like uh we need to just like let in some new energy, let in some fresh air, right? Let in some uh, sunlight into uh, your space, right? Let's keep, let's get the motivation energy uh, high rather than like sitting in some type of stagnant energy that you might be in, Virgo. But yeah, let's first start looking at uh, what's going on this week for you, Virgo, in terms of career. The Justice card comes flying out. I talked about balance earlier, Virgo. Um, so with this Justice card coming in, this is definitely like a, things coming into balance. Have you been putting out good karma, uh, Virgo? Or have you been putting out some low vibrational stuff, right? You know what kind of karma is going to be coming on your side. I'm going to take this in a good way just because... I'm assuming the people that are on my channel are like good people, right? So uh, this is a really good week of things coming back into balance. But how is it going to come back into balance? What is coming into balance into in your work life, right? Let's see if we can get any more detail in regards to that, Virgo. Let's see what's up with that. 
We have coming in Six of Pentacles, High Priestess card, Ten of Cups, Back of the Deck, Energy, the Magician card. Taking things into your own hands. Uh, almost, it feels like for some... Virgo, you can't see it, but one of the cards flew out. Uh, your Justice card actually fell down, all the way down, so I guess I can't show you anymore. But the clarifiers that I pulled for that were the High Priestess card, the Ten of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles. Um, getting into the Magician card, though, I feel like this is like uh, taking matters into your own hands. So if we're going to go off of that theme from the overall energy, Virgo, this is like in terms of like routines, in terms of your work life. I feel like a lot of you Virgos that are receiving this reading are self-employed or have some type of side hustle. Um, or you're in this place of like really wanting to start putting more energy in this way because with this magician card the magician is the master of all the trades the magician realizes that they are the creator of their own reality and if they want something they have to be the one to be responsible to create it right the magician is the one that's actively manifesting they're not waiting for uh, blessings to come to them because they're the ones creating those blessings. They're creating the opportunities for those blessings to come. So when they come, it doesn't take them by surprise because they created that. They created that opportunity for it to even happen in the first place, Virgo, which you do that by doing those routines, right? Ten of Cups comes in uh, with the Six of Pentacles. So for some reason, Virgo, I can't help but feel like you feel like the investments or the energy that you're putting into um, your work life in some type of way, um, it feels like you are not, you feel as if you're not getting the payout that you deserve. Maybe for some of you Virgos, you're wishing that you had a better pay um, or just in the case of where it's just like the energy that you're putting into this is just not worth it for you because it just is not fulfilling for you in some type of way because when you have this high priestess card coming in as the overall energy of this it lets me i, I don't know it just is like an energy of where I just can't help but feel like virgo it's like this begrudging energy of where not begrudging you, there's just like the sense of frustration that you've probably have had for a while virgo in terms of your work life where you haven't felt like your cups have been all completely filled right and i kind of see this week starting to as i was talking about before come into balance again with that justice card that i can't show you anymore because it fell onto the ground and i don't want to reach down for it um but also six of pentacles is also like bringing things back into balance as well obviously in this deck um the images aren't really geared towards like the balancing of things but in other decks even in this mystical manga one which maybe we'll see it later on in this um reading but it is it's a card that usually represents bringing things back into balance uh virgo i'm gonna put these cards down so i can stop making a mess and we can continue on with this reading um but yeah i would say overall virgo um i see this more so as a good sign is well actually let's pull one more card um i see this more so like if you haven't been feeling like uh the energy that you've been putting into you haven't been getting that equal payout i see this as like you're going to start with this ten of cups i see this with the high priestess and the judgment card coming in yeah you're definitely going to see some type of result this week if not like um you know for example maybe you've constantly been putting a lot of work into um what you could what could you like a hobby of yours right maybe every single week that you do like a live stream right you always do a live stream and maybe sometimes you'll get a few viewers here and there but you put in a lot of work and you feel like it's just not being seen or appreciated by the amount of people that it, you kind of feel like it should and it's kind of like rubbing you the wrong way and making you wonder if you're not doing something right and i feel like this is going to be a week of where it's just like you turn on that live stream and you finally start getting the traction that you've been putting all this work into for that would be the example where it's just like you've been working really hard haven't been really getting the results that you thought you would with how much you hard how hard you've been working this is a week where it's just like you're going to start seeing things start turning around in that way um i'm pulling a card now in terms of love for my virgos that are interested in love we have the wheel of fortune card coming in so this is definitely like a either or energy like it's, it feels like things are in the air when it comes to this person feels like you don't really know where you stand with them or they don't know where they stand with you virgo um definitely like a decision needs to be made one way or another i feel with this and the cards are coming out nine of pentacles king of pentacles five of swords for a lot of you virgos it seems like you're releasing 
a situation. You're, it seems like you're releasing a person in your life, right? Um, five of Swords lets me know of some type of something in your life that's been like whispering in your ear, kind of bothering you. I dare us, I, I mean, even in the imagery of this, it's like I kind of see this as a person where it's just like maybe you were just hanging out with this person, right? And then you're t when you're by yourself, you kind of like you just feel really drained and low, and you're just like, man, this person just isn't how they used to be. Or it's just like you don't feel good after you're done hanging out with this person, and you're kind of knowing it, right? Um, it seems to be more of like an energy of where it is the card oh yeah there it is it seems to be like this place of where you're in this you're it seems like you're more so considering right now uh virgo of where it's just like which way do you want to turn this wheel do you want to turn it and try to make it work with this person or do you want to turn it and just move on i see for a lot of you virgos i'm going to be honest you choose like the more solitary lifestyle it seems because of the king of pentacles this is someone that's kind of just happy in their own company right with them and their dog or them and their own animal right they enjoy the company of animals more than people nine of pentacles same thing that self-sufficient energy connecting to your spirit guides right in tune with animals again um a lot of solo energy a lot of energy that's extremely content with um being by themselves so it does seem to be like for a lot of you virgos you're in this transitional period of just letting things go right not no longer in this five of swords mindset because here's the thing with the king of pentacles and the nine of pentacles you're searching for stability and you only want stability in your life and it feels like you're letting go of whatever it is and stay unstable in your life or making things difficult for you um but yeah i'm pulling now i pulled a card now for your overall energy the dramas of it all the general messages from spirit for this week for you virgo and the card that i pulled six of uh, wands so this is a victory card so this is confirming to me more of like this is just a really good week for you virgo um even in terms of like love or and just in terms of like social connections i guess um you're on the right path you're making the right choices with this like i don't see you making a wrong choice um you're just doing with what is stable like you're making decisions of what's uh to bring more stability in your life and how can you go wrong with that right in terms of um Hmm. in regards to love virgo it seems to not love i am i apologize um in regards to your career um i definitely see this being a situation uh virgo of where it's just like keep on putting the investment in uh virgo keep putting this investment in because it's just like you're going to get some type of victory from it right strength card is the back of the deck energy and the magician is following you around as well so i just really feel like you can continue taking matters into your own hands continue wake, waking up every day virgo as a student and allowing yourself to learn from what the universe has to teach you because it definitely has some stuff to teach you right and the star card comes in where it's like that wish fulfillment right continue on in your path um don't internalize things realize that you can easily bring things forward into your life and you actively are with this magician card constantly following you and the star card it lets you know that your hard work the hard work of you being the magician in regards to your career right is not going wasted the energy um it may not be happening today or it may not happen next week, right? You may not see the results of it immediately, but you have the star card, which is that wish fulfillment, which is that like getting what it is that you wanted, something that seemed unattainable, unobtainable actually is obtainable for you in your life, Virgo. And the four of wands comes in, right? And it's like that celebratory card. It's that 1111 card. And it's a card where it's kind of like it's already in the bag. Uh, Virgo, it's already kind of in your grasp. You just have to make the choice to walk through. So it's like, you're on the right path, Virgo. You've already created, like, you've really, like, the Six of Wands doesn't just, this victory card doesn't just come in just out of willy-nilly, right? It doesn't just come in out of no, no effort on your side. You put a lot of work into this, and you're eventually going to start seeing the fruits of your labor. So don't give up is something I want to just say to you, Virgo. Don't give up. Your hard work is being noticed. Your hard work is being appreciated. And I promise you things are going to come into balance and swing into your favor uh, really soon. At least that's what I see through tarot, Virgo. 
Um, but yeah, I'm going to pull an uh, oracle card to close off this reading for you, Virgo. But if you did enjoy this reading, be sure to let me know in the comments which one, which card resonated with you the most. Uh, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you did enjoy it, Virgo. And then also share my video with a friend if you can get me my messages. But let's now see what message the animal oracle has for you, Virgo. We have the wasp spirit 64, which would be one for numerology. So write that down to uh, look up later. Uh, sometimes life stings for the wasp spirit, right? So it's letting you know, like, sometimes you're going to be dealing with those struggles. This week is not going to be any different, uh, Virgo. Continue putting in the energy because it's just like, yeah, life sucks sometimes. Sometimes life can sting at you, but also, um, life can be really beautiful. Life can give you such a bountiful harvest. And if you continue investing in your crops, you're going to have an extremely bountiful harvest because, like, you're just, you're going, you're just, your goal is stability and you're absolutely going towards that stability, Virgo. So be proud of that. Don't be insecure about that. You're on the right path. Um, and yeah, that's the reading that I have for you, Virgo. Hopefully something in this reading resonated with you. And I'm going to close this out now. Until next time, Virgo, I love you so much.